Hi, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker, and I'm so excited to do a wreath um, show tonight, and I might be able to throw in a centerpiece, I'm hoping. So um, I want to thank you guys for joining. I want to thank everybody who saw the preview and shared the preview. That was so awesome. So um, I'm going to get started on my first wreath bow. And I'm going to start by taking some of my Bodabra bow wire. And this one, I, I couldn't help myself because St. Patrick's stays around the corner. I'm making it green. Um, and I'll take my Bodabra bow wire. I'm going to fold it in half. And um, let's see here, fold it in half and lay it into my Bodabra. Hi, Edna. Hi, Leanne. And Edna, sh thank you for sharing. And um, Edna, you also shared on the live, I mean, on the preview. So that was great, too. Thank you. Um, so I have 28 inches. This is a two and a half inch wide ribbon. I've already dovetailed the ends. I'm just going to fold it in half and lay this down into my Bodabra. And then I'm taking a one and a half inch wide ribbon that is 28 inches long. I'm just going to put that into the Bodabra here. And I actually dovetailed one side, but not this side. So let's go ahead and dovetail this. And again, I'm going to dovetail just by cutting from the corner into the center fold. And that gives you your nice little dovetailed ends. Then I have a piece here that is... Um, oh, actually, I need to start with this one. Um, and this one is, let's see how long this is. We've got about a yard, and I've got two yards. Uh-oh, I got stuck on my thing there, and about two, two, actually, exactly two and a half yards. So this one, because this is my right side of the ribbon, and this is the not the shiny side, so I'm going to start with this here. I'm going to twist it and push this down into my Bodabra. And then I'm going to fold it back over and twist and just scrunch it into the Bodabra. Gloria, thank you for sharing and thanks for being here, everybody. And I'm um, going to fold this. Oh, and don't forget, we're going to give away um, at the end of the show, or we might do a surprise and do it in the middle of the show. Um, we're going to be doing a um, free giveaway of a free roll of our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. So I'm just going to keep folding and twist and if you're just joining i've got about two and a half yards of ribbon in this um in this part of the bow we'll just scrunch that down and on the last loop i'm not going to twist it i'm just going to scrunch it into my bodabra and then i'm going to take this piece here and i've got a yard two yards and 32 inches so I've got a little bit more of this ribbon and I'm just going to twist it again. We're just going to fold and twist and fold it and twist it. Hi, Gloria. And oh, Susan, thank you for sharing. And also, thank you. I love these colors, too. I think they're so pretty. Just I have so much fun when, when I'm doing this because I get to work with the, some beautiful ribbon and it just I just kind of brightens her day. And we're gonna twist. So all I'm doing here is just folding and twisting and twist. And then this last piece, I'm just gonna scrunch that in there. And then I have this cute little pick that we're just gonna lay into the Bodabra. And then I have just a little piece of scrap ribbon. And we're just gonna do a little scrunchy bow in here. And just to hide the bad ends, I'm just gonna flip this under and just scrunch it all in there. And you can use the wand if you want, but I don't think I'm going to this time. And I'll just pull this up and pull it through the slip knot. I'm going to pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Pull it out. So this way I'm not fussing with my bow. And twist it. And thanks everybody from sh for sharing, Susan. And hi, Julie and Laura. Julie from Georgia and Laura Garcia of Anand. Avendano. Oh my gosh, I'm messing everybody's names up here. Hi, Linda. And then I'm just going to tie a knot. And then we just shape the bow. So this is just like a perfect bow for a wreath or really any, I mean, for me, a wreath bow is just a bow that matches the wreath. 
because there's so many different styles and we're gonna make a couple of them tonight. Um, but you can see how quick, I haven't even been on for five minutes and we've got this beautiful bow. So it's so super simple. And there we go. And you have this really pretty little bow that works for on a wreath. So now I'm gonna make another one, put this one aside and I've got this wonderful, I think this is our mermaid angel mesh. And if you like glitter, this is definitely my glitter friendly ribbon. Actually, all of these ribbons we have in our Bodabra store. I didn't even realize that. Okay. So now I'm going to take some more Bodabra bow wire. And I, I always just fold it in half before I put it into the Bodabra. And oh, thank you, Linda Louise Walter. Okay, fold it in half and lay this into my Bodabra. And then I have, this is a five inch, I think it's a five inch wide ribbon. Let me just double check because I don't want to give you, yeah, it's five inches wide and it's three quarters of a yard long. And I've already dovetailed the ends. So we're just going to put this into my Bodabra. And I have this piece, which is uh, three quarters of a yard fold it in half by two and a half inches. I think this is our golden, I think it's a paint splatter ribbon is what we call it, but I can't totally remember. And then I have, this is five inches wide and it's one yard and a third of a yard. And so I'm just going to start again. I'm just going to twist it and fold this back over and twist and just fold it back and twist. Twist it there and then just fold this back in. So, oh, Barb, you love your Bodabra, thank you. And Cindy, thank you so much for joining us. As a new Bodabra user, I hope that this, these videos that I do will help out a lot. So we make all different kinds of bows. I think next week I'm gonna try to, I haven't done it in a long time. I'm gonna try to do a wedding um, live. So, and oh, I have to tell you how long this is. Um, let's see, I've got a yard and this is a two and a half inch wide. I've got exactly two yards here. So I'm just going to um, that in there, fold it back and twist and fold and twist and twist and also you guys if you're if you're new to Bodabra or you haven't joined yet please join our Bodabra fan gallery um, it's free to join it's um, on Facebook and I'm sure we'll get a link up there for you and if um, it would be great if you join, because it's so cool. Everybody contributes, shows pictures of what they make. So it's really, I, I love it because I get to see your creations. I'm just going to make a little loop there and take my one and give everything a good scrunch down and then pull this up, pull it through, pull it through my slip knot and pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra, take it out separate my ends. It does look Victorian, Edna, I agree with you. She says the ribbon looks Victorian. It does, and I just love the mesh. It's the design of it is so pretty. And then knot it, and then we're gonna shape our bow. So just take this, kind of bring the loops out to the side as I shape. Um, and then the other thing, I don't know, we haven't, I don't think we've had very many people enter, so I'm, if you've entered and you put up a carbo, picture of a carbo, um, you've got a really good chance of winning. And then I have this, this is just a clip. So I'm just gonna clip this right here in the center. And I have a really pretty, elegant, it's a great wreath bow. So then now, hi, Anne. Now, Anne Ford, Anne, you're from England, right? From the UK? Put this one aside. So we've got people from all over the world watching us. And um, I'm going to grab my cheat. Whoops. Now this is just, I use this just for getting up the glitter so we don't get it all over the place. 
the best, easiest way to get glitter up. So now I'm going to take out my next bow. And this one we have a little wreath, and the wreath is already wrapped in a gold, in sort of a bronzy gold mesh. And I'm going to take all these out here and pull this out. So we've got a kind of a total mix of different ribbons that I'm using for this bow. And put this over here and just kind of get these boxes out of the way. It's like a lot to set up for the live. Like, I hope you guys get it because it's not like I just put this together in five minutes. I have help and it's awesome. Um, my friend Kathy has been helping me a lot and she comes up with a lot of the designs that we're using tonight. So I'm just going to fold this in half. Oh, Gloria, did you share the Jojo bow that you made on, um, on our a Bodabra fan gallery? And so now I'm going to take, I've got three pieces of ribbon. And this is one and a half inches wide by 19 inches long. I mean, two inches wide, I'm sorry. And I'm going to dovetail the ends here. So in order to dovetail it, I'm just going to cut from the end into the fold. And I'm going to lay this one in first. And then I have this green here. And then this mesh green. And they're all the same side. It's just the bigger one is two inches wide. And then here I've got uh, two thirds of a yard. And I'm going to just take the right side, put that in. I'm just going to bring this back around. And this is a great way to make a bow when you have scraps of ribbon because you can use up your scraps and not worry about how long they are. So it's, I've got five eighths of a yard. Um, oh, I'll put a link, Janet, of what I'm using to pick up the glitter. Um, in, I'll, I'll give you a comment and um, I'll also put it, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see it in the description below. So, um, but it's the best for picking up ribbon. So now this is a one and a half inch wide by one half yard. So I'm just going to, and it's actually, this is a two sided ribbon, but I'm using the, the um, darker green because um, I don't know why, I just feel like it. <laughs> so one half of an inch. So I'm just going to, I mean, not one half of a, it's one half of a yard, not one half of an inch. And then I'm just going to fold this over, take the right side, put that in here. And again, just scrunch that down. And then I have two pieces of this mesh that's about a third of the yard. And I'm just going to put these in this in the center here and do exactly the same thing. And I have two pieces because it's to make it a little bit thicker. Or you know what? I'm, I'm going to wait and do that in a second. So now I have about a yard and 10 inches of um, this tubular mesh and we're just going to make loops going around in here back and forth and that's what I love about Bodabra is you can just put anything in it and it'll work well almost anything I shouldn't say anything but then I'm just going to take these now and put these in on top just to make it a little bit wider push that down in there and then cute little bells there and Hi, Linda and Marie and Barbara and Billy. And now I'm going to put this in here, pull it through. And if you haven't already, if you guys could please share this video, that would be amazing. So I'm going to separate my ends and bring it around to the back and tie a knot, double knot it. And I'll start shaping it a little bit now and bring that there and bring this out here. And so you have a really pretty um, wreath bow and I'll actually tie this onto the wreath right here. So it's pretty simple to do. And again, oh, Billy, thank you for sharing. And hi, Debbie. Thanks for saying hello. And there we go. And you have this really cute um, 
little wreath that it's like in, in right now it'd be a great um, like housewarming gift it takes just a couple minutes to make very inexpensive so I'm going to put this aside and um, I have this really beautiful all anybody who's been watching for a while knows how much I love the Catherine's collection ribbon and I mean it's hard not to because it's, it's absolutely so beautiful and this is, I think, part of their mermaid collection. And these pieces are, I believe, they're four inches wide by 16 inches. And I've just kind of curled the ends under. I would probably use the peel and stick and, and actually finish this hem, but I didn't do that today. So I'm going to pull this through, find my scissors. And oh, Cindy, thank you for sharing. Whoopsie daisy cut a piece there and so have any of you um, had businesses that are affected with the situation in China because I know we have been with Bodabra um, because the manufacturing has been down so this is I think I already told you it's like 16 inches long and all I'm going to do is just scrunch the middle and lay that in and again, take this, and you can do this with any ribbon. I just think the Catherine's collection, I just, just thought spring, it's so pretty. And then this is a, I believe it's a two and a half inch wide, but let me just double check and make sure. Yeah, two and a half inches by one yard. One, it's really it's almost exactly one and a half yards. So I'm gonna twist this. Oh, hi, um, Vicki, thank you for joining us. You can purchase the Bodabra at um, Michael's on Amazon from bodabra.com. Um, you can also purchase it, um, I believe Hobby Lobby. I know Hobby Lobby has the mini. I'm not 100% sure about the big one. So now I'm just gonna lay this down in here. And then I'm just gonna take my pick lay that down and this Catherine's collection ribbon is a really thick and it does not it's, it's almost like a, a really fancy fabric and pushing it it does not want to get pushed down so I'm going to just kind of hold it here and bring I didn't make my wire long enough pull this through and um, pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra pull it out I'm going to separate the ends and bring it around to the back and oh Kevin thank you I love adding accents to the bows and it's so easy to do it with the bodabra so now I'm just going to shape this out and I mean this ribbon it I don't even know if the camera shows how incredibly it's just like so solid and, and really beautiful. And we'll just put this in here. And you have this beautiful, and this would be great on a wreath. And so super simple. So now, oh, I've been going really fast. So I'm going to make a centerpiece. This is pretty big. So I'm going to take the wire, and I'm not going to make the mistake I just made. I'm going to cut it a little bit longer. But this is really fun. So now I'm going to fold it in half and lay this down into the bodabra and just all I'm doing is tucking the ends underneath. Then everything over here is getting caught on everything. So now, so this would make a beautiful centerpiece. You also could probably use it as a door bow. I have about a one and an eighth yards of a um, 21 inch wide um, mesh. So I'm just gonna go to the middle of it and lay this let me find the middle and lay this into the bodabra and just take the ends and bring them out to the side. And don't forget, you guys, we're going to be giving away, this is our scrunchy ribbon, and we're going to give away a roll probably at the end of the show. And so now I've got um, some more tails here. This is a big project, so we have everything kind of um, put together here. So I'm going to start by putting in, let's put this here. So I know I seem disorganized, but you guys are going to love the results. So I have a yard, a one and a half inch wide ribbon. 
I'm just gonna lay this in here. And then I'm gonna take this piece here, which is, I believe also, it's a yard. I'm just gonna lay that in there. We're gonna have all these tails coming out, so it'll make a really beautiful table decoration. And just lay that down in there. And now these are just a little bit, no, the same, same length. But these two, I've got this one here, which is again a yard. And then this piece, which is only 25 inches. But you can make, I mean, if you're doing this, you can just decide how long you want it. Um, and then I have these beads, which are about a yard long, and I'm just gonna lay those down in here. And we're not nearly done yet. So then I'm gonna take this beautiful branch and I'm actually gonna have to move my iPod, my iPod. Oh, Billy, thank you. So now I'm gonna lay this branch in here. And what's nice about the branch is it's actually going to allow me, once I, once I um, have it finished, I'm sorry, what? Uh, the winner. Oh, the winner. Oh, cool, Marie Burnett, congratulations. Okay, so now I've got this piece here. We're just gonna lay this along there. So you can see, you can put like the branch in directly into the bodabra. And now I have this piece here. And I'm going to, and I've got here, I've got two different ribbons that we just doubled. And we're just going to make a big bow here. So we're just gonna fold it. Now we're gonna fold it around because um, it gives it a little bit more um, a little more stiffness and then we definitely want to put the winner up on the on the screen right oh okay and also if you guys could please um you know subscribe if you're watching us on youtube subscribe to our youtube channel if you're watching us on facebook please follow us on facebook that way you'll know when we're live and we are live every monday um, Nick does the first Monday of the month, and then I do all the other ones, unless for some reason I'm, I'm sick or something. So, um, and then I'll just fold this, because I was sick at the beginning of last month, and Nick did have to fill in for me, and thank goodness he was able to do that. And then I have um, some more of this mesh, and we're just gonna lay that in here. And, I've got some more beads that we'll lay down. And thank you, Billy. I know this is so pretty, isn't it? Kathy designed this, I can't take credit. And then I have this piece here, which is seven eighths of an inch, seven eighths of a yard. And I'm just going to put that in there. Or actually, we're gonna do four. So we're gonna fold it in half. And we're gonna take the center here. Now this one, I'm going to fold this back over, and this is how we make a boutique bow also. So we're going to fold this over here and just bring the right side back so I have an X here, as you can see. Then I'm going to take the lower loop and scrunch that in, and take this loop here and scrunch it in. And then I have a couple of these tails that are about uh, um, 12 inches long. I'm just gonna lay them in. And I thought I had another set of beads somewhere, but I guess I'm not finding them under my big bow here. Oh, here they are. And so I'm gonna put these in last and just kind of lay those in. And then I'm gonna take my Bow Dabra bow wire, which I cut longer than I need. Whoops, I hit the camera with my head. I hope I didn't just mess everything up. So now I'm gonna just pull this through and pull it tight. But isn't it awesome how you can put all this? <laughs> Susan, oh my God, are you serious? I know, yeah, it's amazing, huh? And you know, it's funny because when Kathy started working with me and designing, she was making everything little and then now she's learned how to make like really big things in the Bodabra because when she, she's a florist and is amazingly creative. But the problem is that if you're used to doing things by hand, you can't make them this big. It's just impossible. But with the Bodabra, you can. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna double knot that just for safety here. 
and then we're going to shape this all out. Now, like I said, by having this big piece of mesh here, it, the, I mean, the branch will actually hold the mesh so it won't curl up. So that's one of the reasons why we have the mesh underneath. And then we're, we've got a centerpiece here. So that's why we want to make sure that everything goes in the length. I'm put this all this way. And I'm going to sit down because my hat keeps hitting the camera. We should remember, Remy, if I have to stand up, that we put the camera a little forward <laughs> next time when we're setting up. And this ribbon is really cool because it um, stretches. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just stretching this out. And of course, you guys know Remy has set up this the whole filming and is dealing with our software that we have. So anyway, so what do you guys think? Is that like so super? I think he's got it on the above or let me put it this way so you can kind of see. But if we can do this on the overhead camera, it might show it a little bit better. So it's really super simple. And so what do you guys think? Thank you, Barbara. Barbara says it's amazing. And Jerry, yes, it's a lot, but isn't that cool that you can do that? Now, what I'll do is I'll make one more, because some of you have the mini bodabra, not the regular, I'm just gonna make a little bow in the mini bodabra, which would be perfect for a mini wreath. So I'm gonna take this and put it aside and lay that down there and grab my mini bodabra. And I think I saw some really pretty pink ribbon here. Okay, so I'm gonna take, um, I'll use my silver bow dabber bow wire for this one. And now don't forget, um, everybody, that we have the contest for car bows. And that's going to be on the, all the in information on that is on the Bodabra Fan Gallery. So you just have to sign up for the Bodabra Fan Gallery. And um, so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just fold this in half and take the center and scrunch that down. And then I'm going to just scrunch that in there. So I have a little tail there. And then I have my loop there. And then I'm going to bring this around and make my tail here. And then just kind of go to the center and make a little loop. You know what, I'm not doing it that way. I wanted to have the tails in here, so we're just gonna make it this way. So we're gonna fold it and twist it and fold and twist and twist that one and bring this. And this is actually how you would make like a, a bigger um, Jojo bow. And then I have these little roses. I'm just gonna take them from the bunch. I'll take three of them. And all I'm gonna do here is just kind of twist the stems together and fold it up and just kind of twist it so it's just really little and lay this right down in the center and just kind of scrunch everything down. And oh, Barbara, thank you for sharing. And Sue, thank you so much. And I'm gonna pull this through and pull it really tight while it's still in the bodabra. I'm gonna separate the ends Bring it around. So what we're doing with the contest, I'm just gonna tie a knot and tie another knot. So that's why I like the big bow dabra and the little one because you can do different kinds of bows with both. So this would be a really cute, I could just tie this onto a headband and um, you'd have a really cute little hair bow. So it's so super, super simple. Um, so I just want to remind everybody, please, if you haven't already, subscribe below to our YouTube channel or on Facebook, just follow Vodabra. And then also, do, we are doing a contest and we're going to announce the winner next Monday on the, I think it's next Monday on the live, or maybe it's the following Monday. But um, we are looking for people to make really gigantic carbos. And then which, whichever one gets the most likes will be the winner. So please join the Bodabra fan gallery and post your pictures of your hair bows. So I will, next week I'm gonna probably be doing a wedding. So everything from wedding centerpieces, wedding hair pieces, 
And um, so if you know anybody that's going to be getting married, it's a great one to watch. So thank you everybody so much for joining and also for sharing. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.